Hi, my magical creatures, and welcome back to my channel. Um, and today we are eating um, soul food. I am so excited. I have not had soul food in years. If y'all did not know, I was actually born and raised in Georgia. I didn't move out to California until I was 12. So yes, growing up in the South, I had soul food like every day. Um, my mom made it, my aunties made it. It was uh, definitely a fun time in my childhood. Uh, the food is so good. I cannot wait to try this food, y'all. This is stuff that I grew up eating. Um, I'm super excited. Let's dig in and let me show y'all what I got. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I got smothered porks over rice, or I would say like smothered smothered pork pork chops over rice. Looks so so good. Um, I also got macaroni and cheese. Cannot go wrong with that. And cannot go wrong with some collard greens, y'all. Like, this is looks really good. Ooh, I just spilled some of that. Oh, well. Ooh, it's, it smells like home. Um, and then I also got some cornbread. And then for dessert, I got pineapple um, coconut cake. I'm really excited. I think I had this one time in my life. But y'all, look at that. That's good. That's some good food right there, y'all. All right, y'all. So we're going to eat. Um, I'm going to say grace. All right, y'all. Okay. And forgive me for this camera setup. I hope, like, I'm more in the frame or whatever. There we go. But yeah, let's hear this up. Let's try the greens. This made me want to cry. This is so good. All right, y'all. I'm gonna try this macaroni and cheese. Dang, that's actually really good. I really like that. That's really good. All right, so I'm gonna try this rice. And then we're gonna take a bite out of this pork chop. Oh my god, y'all. This is good. This is real good. No complaints. So what was I gonna say? Um... Yeah, you guys, I had a Dave & Buster's uh, vlog for y'all. But there was so much copyrighted music in Dave & Buster's. So, unfortunately, I want to be posting a vlog of that. Pretty sad, because it was really colorful in Dave & Buster, and it was really nice. Mm. Mm hmm. No, let me dip into this little pineapple coconut cake. <laughs> okay. That's what's up. The cake is a little dry, but it's still good though. It's a little dry, but I still like it though. Lord have mercy, y'all. So, what have I done this week? I've been at work. Y'all know Ryu's leaving to go to the Navy for five months, so I'm not going to see him. It's going to really suck because I hang out with him, like, every week on my days off. I go hang out, chill with him. And then now he's leaving, so it's like, what am I going to do? What is that girl to do, y'all? Um, I'm probably what I'm gonna do is just hang out with like some of my girlfriends that I haven't kicked it with in a while. Um, trying to think like what else. This food is good. Oh. 
I will be going back to that place to get more food. First, I'm gonna try to learn how to cook it. Actually, you know what? You know what I regret? I wish that I would go to my aunt Cora's house. And her house, y'all, smelled like soul food every time I would go up in there. Cause she cooks it like every day. And um, what was I gonna say? You know, I wish I would have watched her and see how she cooked this food. Cause her food was so good. My mom too. But my mom, I was little though. So my mom, she would, every time me and my sister be in the kitchen, she'd be telling us to get out, so. My goodness, it's so good. But, yeah. collard greens is so good i remember watching beauty shot growing up with queen latifah in it and then there'll be like a lady going up into her shop buying um collard greens from this uh from the lady that would go and sell on it and she was like you about to grow you a yin yang twin booty <laughs> i remember eating these collard greens ever since then i was like oh my god i want, I want a yin yang twin booty like <laughs> Yeah, one car gram. So definitely reminds me of home. I remember growing up in Georgia. We grew up in the country, and so there was lots of land everywhere. I mean, my sister, we would go out and just like play all day long outside as kids. And this was like, we didn't have like, I mean, we had TV. I remember we had we were able to watch TV cartoons all day. And then also too, I think I had like a little Game Boy Color. And then, um, and then I think I had a PlayStation 1. And I remember, um, but if we had a chance to go outside, we would always go outside. We would like play in the dirt, mud. We had those all types of insects. Like in that video, my zoo vlog video, y'all. I was like, in the insect part, I was showing y'all like, oh, these have, they have these in Georgia and all that. Y'all, there was like so many insects and stuff out there. Like we've seen stick bugs to like horn beetles and then um, a bunch of insects, like a lot of like weird like creatures, insects. And like moving out here to California, it's like, I don't even see those insects anymore. Like even the lizards were everywhere. Those lizards everywhere in Georgia. And they look so different compared to the ones here in California. The one in California, they're like brown and then they have like a round shaped head. The lizards in Georgia, they're called like Anoe lizards, I think. And they have like a long, they're green, but when they get scared or whatever, they can change their color to brown, but they're usually, they say green. And their face is more like long, like an alligator, like longer, it's like long. And then like the lizards here, their face is like more round and they're brown. And, um, yeah, and then also to those salamanders everywhere, too. And I remember, oh, they're so cool. Yeah, but I had a good time, I had fun as a kid. And then one day, and it rained a lot, too, y'all. It rained like every other day, you know, like thunderstorm rain, and it was so humid and hot and moist at the same time, but everything's so green there. And then um, I remember, yeah, on those days we'd just be inside playing games like Uno or like I'll just be on the PlayStation playing games or I'd be on my Game Boy Color. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. And then we had a lake in the backyard too. So like my stepdad would take me fishing with him and we would just fish all the time. A lot of people don't know that about me. Like I may seem like this little pretty like, oh, I'm afraid of bugs and dirt, but Y'all grow, your girl can get down, okay? And so we go fishing, cat, catfish, and all that stuff. But I'm allergic to seafood, so I would just give it to him. So it was like extra fish for him. So this definitely brings me back. 
Every time you keep pulling me back, me back. <laughs> Hmm. But the one thing I don't miss about Georgia is the damn snakes. They have snakes everywhere water moccasins and that's what they call them we have snakes all the time by our house and we get so creeped out and scared and then they were there was a period where they were coming into the house and we didn't even know how they were getting in and so a little mini story time on that as an adult i talked to my mother and i was like so like how were they getting into the house i remember they were like in the closet like they were just getting in so our next door neighbor, he had a he had a whole reptile thing in his house, y'all, and we believe that he was coming up because he was um, the house that we rented out in Georgia. So the whole land that we lived on was actually a KKK, like it used to be owned by KKKs, and then now it's like they it's like they don't exist in that area anymore in Georgia. And so my stepdad, of course, he was African American my mom is Japanese so she um, the house that we were living in that had all that land uh, it was owned previously by KKK people so um, a lot of people were shocked they were like how were you able to rent that house out you know because I guess people I don't want to bring color into this I don't want to start anything on here but basically um, they were just shocked that like oh like an African-American person is living on this land you know with the house and everything like that and so this was years later after I was an adult my mom was telling me this and so they believed that the next door neighbor he was you know Caucasian they he had a whole thing of snakes in his house you guys and like we believe that he was coming over and putting them into the parts of the house like putting them into the roof of the house and then they were coming down from the attic and then they were in my stepdad's closet y'all so um yeah, so we believe that's they my mom and my stepdad believe that was that was what was happening. And so they kept coming into the house and we just didn't know how, but then eventually we ended up moving up out of there anyway. So yeah. Crazy story time. I gotta learn how to cook like this. Betcha, if I learn how to cook like this, I'll keep any man. I'll keep a man. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Oh, and also too, I heard that um, the guy that that we thought was putting snakes into our house, they. My, I think my mom told me too that like he was trying to rent our house out too. And so that was another red flag. Um, he wanted to rent the house out, but the landlord wouldn't rent the house out to him. So he ended up getting like a small like little hut of a house while we lived in the nice, it was a nice, it was a nice one story house. It was really beautiful. So um, yeah, that was another red flag. So I'm not trying to point fingers or anything, but they believe that's, yeah. Mm. Y'all, I'm, I'm already getting full, but this food is so good. I'm going to take this to work. Eat this tonight. Okay. I can't do that Cardi B thing. Okay. Okay. I can't, I can't keep it rolling, but I can kind of do it. Y'all, I know how to do that dance or whatever. Oh my gosh. So, also, two people said so that in my last video, people were saying, like, oh, you sound funny. Like, are you from Mississippi? I was like, no, I'm from Georgia. But, you know, it's funny. When I moved here to California when I was 12, people asked me, like, where are you from? You kind of have an accent. And I was like, oh, I'm from Georgia. And I was like, oh, okay, that explains it. 
But to me, I'm like, I don't think I do have an accent. I thought I talked normal like everybody else. But um, being in California, I'm honestly a Valley girl now. So <laughs> living in California, so I think I lost the accent. I don't know. But what do you guys think? How do you think, How? what do I sound like? And it better not be mean. Like, oh, sound like a man. Like, I hope to God, no. Actually, I know for myself, I don't sound like one because every time when I call, like the bank or people on the phone, um, they would be like, yes ma'am, right away. So I'm like, all right, cool. I know my voice is a little raspy, but I know I don't sound like a man. What was I gonna say? Um, also to, yeah, like leave a comment down below. Like, what do you guys think? Like, that I, like do I have an accent? I don't know. I should do a trip though back to Georgia. I just feel like there's nothing left for me there, you know? I feel like the reason I didn't go back is because I feel like I have more opportunities out here in California than I do in Georgia. Just because me being like trans and everything, I just don't know how that will affect me being in Georgia in the South like that. Um, that was number one. Number two, um, I just, I don't know, as a kid, it's just your perception of things are different, but when you're an adult, it's like, your perception really changes, so I don't really know what it's like living out there as an adult, you know what I mean? Especially the parts that I grew up was in small towns, like really tiny, tiny towns, like everybody knew each other, everybody was related to each other, like it was like that. So, I don't know, could I do it again? No. <laughs> I need to be around diverse people. I like my Sacramento and I like my San Francisco. I'm just gonna keep it like that. Mm-mm. Okay. Okay. Where's my water? Where's my water here? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> right. Oh, this food is so good. I'm honestly pretty full right now. So, um, I'm gonna, I'm supposed to have to get ready for work in like 20 minutes or whatever. So, I'm gonna pack this food up. It's really good. I don't want to get too full because then when I go to work, I'm gonna like want to sleep or whatever. But y'all, this food is so good. Um, kind of makes me cry a little bit. It makes me miss home a little bit. But, um, I should definitely plan a trip to visit Georgia and just probably show y'all where I grew up and stuff. I think that'd be really fun. Uh, reminiscing nostalgia. But, um, definitely new video is coming out Monday. So, um, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, a like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the bell notification, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Stay magical.